hello let us look into the scale up of bioprocess so what do we mean by scale up scale up means we are increasing okay scaling up scaling up means increasing something in volume in size and amount of production so a process that is carried out at a very small scale is slowly or gradually taken from the small scale to a larger scale so when we are talking about microbial technology or industrial biotechnology we are taking the production from a laboratory scale into the production scale so this can be carried out in three to four steps so why do we need a scale up normally when we are talking in terms of the production the production idea the, or the idea to use certain microorganism to produce certain product using certain my, uh, media or condition it comes up as an idea and this idea is tested in the lab in the very initial stage so the lab testing or how the microorganism works in the lab need not be the same way that the microorganism is going to work or the product is going to be formed at a larger scale okay so many conditions have to be optimized before you get the perfect production of a product or the most be best one of your product so different conditions like the substrate concentration the concentration of media that has to be taken the temperature that has to be done the different material the method all this have to be optimized the major challenge in the bioreactor scale up is to efficiently take a laboratory scale process into a production scale because it is it has been reported that when we are taking a process from a laboratory scale to the large scale the productivity was seems to be reduced and this reduction in productivity from taking from the small to the large scale can be attributed to different functions the factors like the change in shear pressure the oxygen in the medium the mixing of medium okay etc so why is it so when we are doing a small bioreactor or in a conical flask what happens even though we just put a little effort in mixing the media is properly and well mixed because we have a few liters or a few micro liters of the medium so the mixing is not a problem but when you're going to the higher scale what happens at the higher scale even when you have so many agitators and aeration system the mixing need not be as perfect so all these criteria can add up and reduce the productivity so testing has to be done at a different scale and the first scale of testing or first scale of production is the laboratory scale so what is the laboratory scale this is the step or this is a stage of bio, bio process where you are checking the feasibility of a design because before you start a process you will be having a design plan or a data plan how you are going to use the process okay so you want to check whether this process will work or not that is done at the laboratory scale in the, at the laboratory scale you can use petri dishes conical flask very small laboratory scale bioreactors etc and you're checking is the process working is the product being formed that is your main aim you are checking if the product is formed if the pro process can be taken to the next step okay so you'll be operating the thing for a few weeks to months and then you will be seeing where automation has to be needed uh, so this is a step where you are modeling and simulating the industrial scale production next we have the pilot scale so in the pilot scale pilot scale is a mini version of the working scale bioreactor so it will have all the setup but this is a smaller version so the pilot scale what it allow help us to do is it help us to investigate into the product and the process how is the product form how is the process like what are the different system at a easier scale a manageable volume if in case it is a large bioreactor we'll have to put so much of money so much of commitment so much of media into it okay but in a pilot scale this is more or less manageable size so, uh, so we are using an intermediate size pilot scale to check 
whether the product is formed, how is the product, what is the chemical, microbiological and sensory quality of the product. Okay, we can go for market testing at the pilot scale. The customers, is the customer happy with the product? What is the shelf life? Shelf life, what is the storage stability of the product? What are the waste product that has been formed during the process? How can the waste be managed? The, then what are the different criteria? After you get the data from all these evaluations, you can look into the criteria that can be used for the production at a very large scale. Okay, so this is the process. First, you'll have a process design in your mind and the process design's feasibility is checked in the laboratory scale. And after that, it is taken to the pilot scale, which is the mini bioreactor version to check the other criteria. And finally, it is taken, if everything is fitting, it is taken to the full scale production or the large bioreactor. And if at each stage there is some problem, the problem has to be looked into it has to be troubleshoot and the solution have to be made. And this is done if you are having a problem at the full scale production. Then you will scale it down. You want to test it again with a different composition of a media maybe at a different temperature maybe. For this, you will bring it down to a smaller scale. So now troubleshooting you will go to a lower level. This is at a pilot scale, a mini bioreactor version. Even though it is a mini version, is a huge one. So you can scale down to a bench scale. That is something like a laboratory scale. Because when you are testing it at a laboratory scale or a bench scale, material cost will be less because pilot scale will need tons of raw material. And some testing cannot be done in pilot scale, like the higher temperature and pressure, etc. It cannot be done in the pilot scale because the pilot by reactor can be damaged. So bench scale testing will be done in certain criteria. So to test this, Scaling down of the process is being done. 